Hello everyone. In the previous video, I talked about how we can implement dynamic data masking to protect sensitive data from unauthorized access. So in this new video, we're going to take it a step forward by talking about the column level security. So let's get started. Now, the column level security is an important security feature in Fabric Warehouse and, of course, SQL Server. And it allows us, the admin, to restrict access to specific columns in a table. And, of course, it is super useful to safeguard confidential data within a database table. So I'm going to walk you through on how to implement that from the scratch. Enough of talking. Let's get started. So we're going to use the same data masking workspace we used in the previous video. And of course, we can see the warehouse. Switch to the data warehouse SQL endpoint. And of course, we can see the top three rows from the M records table to implement the column level security so that Enoch, the other user, can be able to select the AMP ID, full name, and annual salary columns from its own dashboard. We're going to use the grant data control statement. So I'm going to type in grant. Now I want to grant select. And of course, we need to specify the name of the column. So inside square bracket, I'm going to type in M ID, close the square bracket. And of course, I want to allow him to select from the full name, close that. And finally, the annual salary so this is going to be the three columns and close the bracket so click enter now we need to specify the name of the schema and of course the name of the table so we have to use the on keyword so on dbo.m records and of course the grantee will be to insert double code enoch at excel jet consult triple one dot on microsoft.com so let's check it out so we can see the grant select on the amp id full name annual salary on dbo dot amp records to the grantee so we can go ahead and execute or run the query and there we go you can see commands completed successfully and you can see it took just one second 350 milliseconds. So having done that, I'm going to go back to the workspace and very importantly, I'm going to click on this ellipsis and I will click on share on check this and specify the name of the user, which is Enoch from my organization. And of course, I'm not going to notify by email. So uncheck that and go ahead and grant. So that's done. Now I'm going to go back to the Chrome and of course we can see the user is logged in so I can refresh the page and of course we can see the name of the works the warehouse rather so hrd underscore info and of course we can see the name of the table amp records now in this case there is absolutely nothing visible so let's open the new query and then let's try to query all from the amp records table so when i try to click on run see what i'm going to get there we go it's working fine started running query at line so the select permission was denied on the column gender of the object the amp records in the database hrd underscore info and of course the schema dbo so we can see we can't actually select some of the other columns of course we can select the amp id the full name and the annual salary so we can see that the column level security is working pretty fine now let's be more specific and choose the three columns that we have access to so i'm going to get rid of this star and inside square bracket m id okay close the square brackets and put in the comma so the next one is the full name so open and close the square brackets and the full name and the last one is the annual salary so annual salary now when i go ahead and run this query i'm going to see the records because of course we have the permissions to access the three records and there we go so you can see the m id the full name and annual salary is working fine but other ones are not working let's go back to the admin let's say i want to add the pension so i can actually modify or let me just copy this ctrl c let me Ctrl V and let's want to add the pension 
um, field or the column. So I'm going to delete and let's add pension. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this. Now, before I execute, let me come back to the user. I want to include pension. I'm going to put in a comma and type in pension and then go ahead and execute. So click on run. So you can see the select permission was denied on the column pension of the object and records. So let's go to the admin and execute this. So we can see the command run successfully. And when I go back and query this again, of course, that's going to come out because we just granted an access to the pension column. And of course, there we go. So we can see we have the pension. So the column level security is working pretty fine. So I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends and comment. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.